below, my name is Jonathan Tang. In this video, we're going to be talking about the solution blueprints that are part of the Native Edge 2.0 release. Before diving into the Native Edge blueprints, let's take a quick look at how applications are deployed today using Native Edge 1.0. Here's an example of an Ubuntu 2204 image that I have already uploaded into the Native Edge catalog. In this example, I'm going to deploy the VM onto one of the native edge endpoints. And after the VM is fully online, you'll see that I need to step through the wizard to go through the installation. Now, I just demonstrated a vanilla Ubuntu install, but now imagine what happens if this Ubuntu VM were part of a larger complex solution that needed additional software or services that needed to be installed on top of this. It would take more time and more clicks to complete. So take, for example, a three node K3s install with a virtual IP load balancer and Longhorn that I want to run on top of my native edge endpoints. What would that involve? I'd first need to deploy three individual Ubuntu VMs, run through the installer on each of them. I would then need to download and install the K3s packaging inside each of the VMs. And then I would need to install a virtual IP load balancer as well as the Longhorn services. Needless to say, this process would take a long time to complete. But what happens if I could do this with an automated process? That's exactly what solution blueprints are. Built on Tosca standards, solution blueprints offer pre-built portable templates for common use edge cases. They can be deployed in minutes with consistent configurations. Dell Native Edge provides six predefined solutions that are available within the Native Edge catalog. This includes Dell Streaming Data Platform, a single node, three node, or five node K3s deployment, Telet, Litmus, PTC, and Deep North. Let's take a look at how Native Edge will deploy a three node K3s cluster on Native Edge endpoints. We're back in our Native Edge UI where we see that Ubuntu VM that we just deployed. Let's now deploy the three node K3s cluster on these other endpoints that don't currently have any VMs on it. We'll then navigate over to the catalog page where we can click on the solutions tab to view all of the different blueprints. Let's select the K3s three node blueprint. And in this blueprint, we're going to need to provide a name as well as an artifact configuration secret name. Now this secret contains a JSON input where my Ubuntu images as well as all of the packages needed to install K3s, Longhorn, and the virtual IP load balancer. I'll also need to provide it a SSH public and private key that I've already created. This is used so that the orchestration engine can automatically connect to the VMs to install all of the images automatically. I will leave the compute and storage requirements as default and select the three endpoints I highlighted earlier. I'll leave all the other values as default and I'll provide a static IP address for the virtual IP load balancer. I'll then review the summary and kick off the deployment. We'll then go to the deployments page and under the solutions tab, I can see a deployment created for my K3's three node demo. You'll notice that sometimes blueprints can have subservices. And if we click into it, these are the deployments for each of the three Ubuntu VMs that are being deployed onto the three native edge endpoints automatically. Once this is done, the last thing the blueprint will do is automatically install the Longhorn and virtual IP load balancer. Let's take a look at the details of my deployment. Here I can see the logs of the deployment at the bottom of the screen. This is useful if I need to troubleshoot or follow along during the deployment as it was progressing. You'll also see at the top right of the screen, I have capabilities and outputs of my deployment. This includes items such as the IP address of my Kubernetes cluster, my Longhorn IP address, as well as my VM IP addresses. If I copy the Longhorn IP address, I can switch over to another browser and see that Longhorn is running, as well as see the stats of the three nodes in my Kubernetes cluster. 
if we go back to the native edge UI, we can also see the three VMs that were automatically created by the native edge solution blueprint. This concludes this demo. We hope you found this useful. For more information about native edge, check out the following resources.